What it is with y'all, it's your boy MJZ coming at y'all with another video and as you can tell by today's title, I'm giving y'all the best Kyrie Irving build in NBA 2K21. So now for those of you who know Kyrie, he's a shifty guard, he's fast, he's quick, he can do it all, but he mainly specializes in breaking ankles and scoring off the dribble. He isn't really known for his defense or nothing like that, so don't be surprised when you see the defensive stats. So on this first page here, you want to, it doesn't really matter. Nothing on this page really matters except for the position. His handness, we know he's right handed. And his jersey number, we're going to go back to the Cavs days when he was wearing number two. You feel me? So we're going to hit that continue button. And we're going to get into the body setting. So we know Kyrie, he's 6'2, 6'3. We're just going to put him at 6'2 for this video. Well, I mean, 6'2, 6'3. It doesn't really matter. But for the video, we're going 6'2. And his weight, he's in the 190 to 195 range. So now his wingspan. It's going to set you out um, 67, but you're going to want to take it down to a 63. See, the only thing that's really affected is the driving dunk, the standing dunk, and the post control along with the defensive stats. But again, that doesn't matter because Kyrie, he's not no, he's not really a dunker, and he really has no defensive rebounding stats. He's a shooting playmaking, and you know he's got all that speed and everything. So when it comes to his body shape, it really doesn't matter. If we're going solely based on Kyrie, you're going to want to go compact or slight. I'm going to go with compact to this video. Y'all can follow that. And now when it comes to the attributes, you're just going to want to follow along what I do here. So for close shot, you want to put to a 95 and driving layup to 95. Now y'all may ask like, oh, what's the point of putting close shot up if he's not, you know. But if you want those five finishing badges, you know, you could put Hall of Fame. Or what's it called? Fearless finisher. Because that's what Kyrie is. He When he gets to the lane, he's scoring any time. So those are the only two things you're going to want to touch on finishing. Because again, he's not no driving dunker. Not really standing. He doesn't do no standing dunks. He has no post control. You feel me? So when it comes to shooting here, you want to crank the mid-range shot and you want to crank the three-point shot. You can see right here you get 10 available. You get 10 available badges. You know, that's weird how you have to take the free throw all the way up to get 30, right? But you don't want it. You don't want it at 30. You're just going to want to take this down to about an 80 where you get 26 badges. Or you, Actually, you know what? No, you want to leave this at a, you want to put this at a 75, 76 area. We'll get back to that. But when it comes to the playmaking here, you want to max your pass, your pack ass, your pass accuracy for right now, your ball handle and your speed with ball. Now you see you got 30 playmaking as well. So what you can do here is take it down. Your piece of pass accuracy really doesn't matter. Your pass accuracy does not matter at all. So you want you could take this down. You could take your um, pack, pass accuracy down to an 80. Get your 24. You could put it up to 81. You know, get your 25. But like I said, bro, he Kyrie has no defense. His perimeter defense, he has none. His steal, you could max at a 91, but you only get three Hall of Fame badges. Or no, you only you can only get three Hall of Fame badges, but you get no badges at all. So in this case, there's really no point in adding a steal. His speed, you're gonna want to put at a 93. His stamina, you want to put up because stamina is critical for part games, and you're gonna want to put his acceleration up to an 81 as well. So now we have a few extra badges we can tack on onto the defense if we want to. In this case, it really doesn't matter what you do with them. You feel me? Because you can't you can't put anything more on playmaking or shooting. The the rest you could do is put it on finish and get another six. Or what you could do, what you could do is just tack them onto strength or vertical. So we'll just go with vertical. So now you see you got five finishing, twenty four shooting, and twenty five playmaking. 25 playmaking badges so we just gonna want to go ahead and continue here and when it comes to choosing your takeover Kyrie man this will for, for your primary takeover you're gonna want to put you're gonna want to do ankle breaking shots or easy blow bys because Kyrie he's so quick you just get those blow bys although you are not big you're not big so it might be harder to get them blow by animation so I would go for the ankle breaker the ankle breaking shots is my primary and finishing moves we'll go with the for our for our secondary, we're gonna go with easy blow bys, and then we're gonna go on and continue here. And as you can see, we made an offensive thread. It's gonna compare to Steve Nash, Trey Young, Stephen Curry. But what's his name? Kyrie also fits into that mold. You feel me? So y'all make sure to hit that like button, sub to my channel, and turn on the post notifications, bro, for f so you never miss a future video. But with that being said, yo, MGZ, and we signing out, y'all.